This is the Stealth 15, which is one of the premium segment laptops by MSI aimed at giving a very premium, low profile, slim and lightweight laptop. So let's talk about the Stealth 15 in detail and explore all the reasons to buy one. This laptop was given to me by Creative Laptops exclusive MSI store in Ludhiana who were kind enough to let me review this laptop. Their store is one of the kind in Ludhiana giving a hands-on experience of MSI laptop before you can decide to buy. They have a very knowledgeable staff to guide you through the process of picking up the right laptop according to your needs. So do check them out before buying. Contact details in the description. First let's dive into the looks of the laptop. This laptop comes in core black color and has a metal chassis all over. But personally to me, it felt like a very good plastic with metal texture on it. It has a very slim and light form factor with dimensions of 35.8 cm by 24.7 cm by 2 cm and weighs around 2.1 kgs, which feels lighter when comparing with other gaming laptops. This along with its rounded corners make it very easy to carry around. It has a minimal keyboard flex, but I felt a little more than usual top lid flex on it. It does suffer from some degree of screen wobble as well. It has reinforced hinges due to which the hinges feel a bit stiff but it can easily be opened with one hand and the screen goes back to 178 degrees for sharing but due to a lack of notch or a grip it feels a bit tough to open it has a very low profile looks with just an mso logo on the back side and an msi logo written on the front side and that's about it no textures no unnecessary branding and no designs in the chassis which makes it perfect for formal settings and no one will suspect that you are carrying around a gaming laptop the logo on the top lid does not have any lighting but it does give very cool reflective RGB effects. It has air exhaust vents on both sides of the laptop and vents on the back side but the designing of the vents is such that it's not at all highlighted. The laptop surely earns its name for being too stealthy. It also has an air vent on the top of the keyboard which also would have been easily blended in if they had not written stealth in white ink inside it. Although it helps in keeping the laptop cooler, it does bother while using the keyboard in long gaming sessions. Moving on, it has 10 keyless keyboard with a single zone of white backlighting, which is a letdown for a laptop at this price. But on the bright side, the key travel is really impressive and all the keys feel a bit mushy to press. I love typing on it. The brightness level of keyboard can be adjusted by pressing function plus F8 key. Function key is still placed at an odd location, but it can be swiped with the Windows key in the MSI Center software. It has a decent sized trackpad, which is fully clickable and supports multi-gesture and is very smooth to use. It has narrow bezels on the sides but it does have a big chin. It has a big air intake vent on the bottom with a wide and simple mesh design. Inside it has a triple fan design which is unusual for laptop nowadays but really helps in keeping the laptop cool. It has a very decent screen with a 15.6 inch IPS level, full HD anti-glare panel with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p and an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. It has a color gamut of 45% NT but I am not sure about it as it really felt much more than that. It has a contrast ratio of 1000 by 1 and a refresh rate of 144 Hz. It has a screen response time of 10 milliseconds and it has a good screen brightness. I could not find the exact number but it feels like 300 nits. It has good viewing angles of 178 degrees. I was satisfied with its screen while all my general and gaming tests and it feels very nice to look at. Talking about the ports, it comes with two USB type A ports and and two USB Type-C ports. Starting from the left, it has one power pin, one HDMI 2.1 port which supports display up to 8K 60Hz, one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 port, one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port which supports display of up to 4K 60Hz and also supports power delivery up to 100 watts. On the right side, it has one audio mic combo jack, one USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 2 port, one USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2 port and one RJ45 Ethernet port. The port situation in this laptop is average at most as it does give two USB Type-C ports but at this price it has no Thunderbolt 4 port. It does have two USB Type-A ports but three USB Type-A ports is the sweet spot. It has balanced situation of ports giving one USB Type-A and one USB Type-C port on each side but I prefer having USB Type-A ports on the left side. Talking about the other features, it comes with a mug switch but no advanced optimus. That means you'll have to restart the laptop for it to take effect. It has a 720p webcam. It has 53.5 watt hour battery which gave battery backup of 8 hours of regular usage and 1.5 hour of gaming and comes with a 200 watt charger. 
It has two speakers on the sides of the keyboard with Namic audio support and sounds good with clear sounds and a little bass. It has Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. One great thing about this laptop is that it has been developed in coordination with Bluestacks, which provides a seamless mobile gaming experience on Windows laptop. Now, finally, let's talk about what's inside this machine. It comes with Intel Core i7 13620H with 10 cores and 16 threads, out of which 6 are P cores and 4 are E cores, with a maximum clock speed of 4.9 GHz. An RTX 4050 with 6 GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a maximum TDP of 90 watts, which support DLS. 3 and frame generation, 16 GB of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5200 MHz and 1 TB of Gen 4 SSD. I also tested this laptop to see its performance prowess and here are the results. Cinebench R23 scored 13,592 in multi-core and 1697 in single core. Geekman scored 11,627 in multi-core and 2330 in single core. PC Mark 10 scored 7107 and 3D Mark Time Spy scored 10,835 CPU, 8,192 GB. GPU and 8503 overall score. These scores are great for any laptop, making it suitable for tasks like hardcore gaming, streaming, 4K level editing, creative workload, coding, 3D modeling and architectural work, machine learning and AI work. I ran some AAA titles on this machine and I was just blown away by the results. All the games were tested at the highest preset with ray tracing to the fullest and DLSS to performance. The resolution was set at 1080p, no cooling pad was used and the room temperature was 30 degrees Celsius. Cyberpunk gave 90 FPS in ultra settings and ultra ray tracing. Yeah, I was also shocked to see this, but you can see it for yourself. Games like Starfield gave about 62 FPS with temps not crossing 80 degrees and Forza Horizon gave 53 FPS with temps averaging out at 70 degrees. I could not test any other games due to lack of time, but I don't think that I needed to test any other games after seeing the performance of Cyberpunk, Starfield and Forza Horizon 5. The temperatures were also well managed with no instance of temperatures going above 80 degrees for CPU and GPU. For a laptop with i7 13620H and RTX 4050, the performance that this laptop delivered was simply mind-blowing. Talking about the upgradability, it has great upgrade options giving two RAM slots of 32 GB each giving a total of 64 GB, two M.2 slots of 2 TB each and one M.2 slot for upgradable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card. It comes with its own performance customization software known as the MSI software which gives options like hardware monitoring, MUX switch, thermal profiles also known as the user scenario and general user interface settings settings like swappable function key and window key, disabling the window key, crosshair display, HDR support, always on functionality, etc. This laptop is priced at 1,30,000 at the time of making this video. And in conclusion, I would say, although you can get many better laptops at this price and these specifications in a much lower budget, the performance of this laptop is surprisingly good for an i7-13620 and an RTX 4050. I won't say that it is the best out there, but it's definitely worth considering if you are looking for a thin and light gaming laptop with a very low profile looks that performs like a beast. If you like the review, please like the video, dislike if you didn't, tell me about it in the comment section and consider subscribing for more videos like this.